<coughs> All right, let's go on here now. Uh, I want to talk to you about some good teaching tips right now, okay? All right, first one about posting up. Okay, now I'm not going to go through where we post them up and all that. I need a ball, right, real quick. Okay? All right, now, let me have a guy up here. Uh, 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 up here. All right, now, just watch. When we talk about posting up, uh, we're saying now that this guy is a good defensive player. All right? And I'm coming down the floor. Now, how do I post up on this guy? All right, first of all, we all know that the ball is coming down the floor or the ball might be on the rim. Now, I'm going to post up on this guy. Now, how do you teach your kids? Because the good defensive coaches tell him, hey, this guy's a horse. Don't let him get his spot. My spot happens to be right here. He just took me out of my spot one full step. Now, in the NBA, as well as high school and college, you don't let those guys get to their spot. It screws up their game. So here's what we teach. He wants to take away my spot. So when I go down into the shot, I don't care which way the guy reverses. I don't care which way he reverses. Watch what we do. Let him take the stand. All right, now what? I will come into this shot. Now he's going to put the slayer. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Just have your kids pivot the way he wants to pivot. Watch. Put your hands up. As we come in, we all do this. We put our hands up, and as I step into him, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit down right on his Stop. And you see what that does? And more important, watch my arm. Now, if you know anything at all about music, folks, we are a big, big post-up power game teaching team. We shoot 30 foul shots every night. Go back and check. Every night in the NBA. That is a lot. And there are only a couple of teams every year that do this. We thrive on the post-up game. Slicing to the post-up, posting guard, posting forward, getting this, whatever. But our key is not to do this. Don't come up and get in a piston contest with this person by either pushing or hitting him. Because if this guy's guarding me, you know this is not very popular. If I'm good, this guy is probably a middle linebacker in football or a crazy lacrosse guy, okay? You know he's a mean guy. He's got something to play here that would come on. So what do we teach? We teach coming in, arms up. Now, as we come in, all we do is we step, and then as we spin, okay, see, he's being cute now. <laughs> see, you know, see, if I go to him, you know what he does? He loses tonight by 17. <laughs> he goes to the local diner or to the local bar where everybody meets. By 3 in the morning, he won by 6. Okay? <laughs> because the salt shakers and everything, look, he's, come on, don't look at that. Marker, 
if you don't believe me, just run into your gym on Monday before you teach your kids. Go into your gym, look at the box, stand on the box, pivot baseline, and you're going to be behind the board. Go to the first marker, pivot baseline, and you can bank the shot in. See, don't lock the kids up, just stay wherever you are. Okay? All right, now watch ducking in. What's the key to teaching ducking in? Stay up, stay up, right? Now watch this. Here's the ducking. That means I'm going to be here and I'm going to try to duck in in front of this bat. All right, okay. We teach, we teach ducking in because we know the best place, the best, the number one place to be a good post-up player is that the dotted line. Right there. Because the defensive player, 999 times out of 1,000, is behind you. That is right now. As much as you want. You watch every high school, college, or pro game this year and tell me it doesn't happen. The second and third best post-up places are on, on land. The best places are from the best. Okay? Now, so when we duck in, we tell our guys this. When you're being played by a good defensive player, uh, you're, 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 no, 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 come this way. This will be the best. The ball is out here. Now just watch this for a second. I'm going to duck in. And you know he's good. So as I start to come into this circle here now, okay, into the dotted line, I'm here now. The dance is right behind me. I'll watch. See the hand? See, he played me top shot. That's good. That's good. Now watch. See, if I, if the ball is here, and he's going to make this pass for me, because all the good guys from Virginia, come on, play me a little puppy. Go in the money. Fuck, I mean, oh shit. Oh, it's been dropping bombs on us. Oh, what the fuck is? It's just sand in my eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you like to be on Emo Gmo with this guy? <laughs> Worrying about falling, I'm worried about, you know, we're worried about teaching. This guy's worried about getting injured. Come on. All right, now watch. Now watch. All right, let's move back. Let's move back. Okay. All right. Now, if he takes, tries to take it away from me, watch. As I step over the foot, he's going to fight. He's going to fight. That's fine. Now, put the arm down. See, if I do this, rip, go down on my arm. See, he's breaking break my arm. See? Good strong out right now. I just watched it. I wish we were in the gym because I could show this to you very easily. <laughs> Anytime you want this tap, I don't care how big, how strong he is. Just hit him right there. Now, oh, come on, baby, come on. <laughs> See? I don't give a damn. I do it with every seven foot guy I have. Three run, no, I don't care. 250, two, it doesn't matter. Just hit them right here on the elbow, right here. 